grab your drink, roll your papers, wind down, or speed up and get to work. It's your girl Shan with season six of She Gets a Podcast. I'm with all of y'all as we navigate this new world we got. We are all adjusting to these new changes. Let's go. Where's my snacks? I know I came in with the bag. What do I do with bag though? What up, y'all? What's good? Oh, hold on, let me put this in the fridge. <clears throat> um. I have new neighbors coming. Um, what up, y'all? This is season six, episode seven. Keep your word. I don't know what that means to you, but I know what it means to me. I love when people keep their word. It helps me be more trusting of humankind. But those who don't, I got something for your ass. In my opinion, there is so much respect due, you know, in a person who keeps their word, no matter what it is. It could be good news or bad news. It could be um, direct, whether you like it, minus your feelings. That's the type of people I like. You know, um, can we do something better by, you know keeping your word can we refrain from using the word i promise or don't worry about it or for real i will if it ain't for real you will don't say it i think that's very easy i don't think um most people understand the impact that they make on other people when they say they promise or don't worry about it or trust me or I will never let, uh, uh. like, keeping your word is so simple and people always want to talk about it, but can't be about that. And I'm really, I'm really about keeping my word when I say I'm going to do stuff. What happens when people don't keep their word is that self-doubt, that lack of faith, that tit-for-tat behavior, you know, follows them. Meaning, if you and a person don't deal with each other because you can never take their word for it, your next relationship, by default, you might be tit for tat. Meaning, I'm doing this because I asked you to do something and you kept your word and you did it. And I'm not going to do anything else until I see that you keep your word and you do something for me. That. So you're already going into a new relationship, limiting yourself on what that relationship could possibly be because you don't you don't want to put your trust in another individual to be let down and i'm not saying that that person will let you down it's just like a a defensive mode and if people just kept their word i feel like that wouldn't happen if people just kept their word i feel like other people can be 110% open and willing to be in the relationships in their future without that baggage. That baggage doesn't always have to be, oh, you bring in problems with you, you bring in people with you. That baggage could be like, I can't let go of feeling like somebody's going to do me wrong or somebody's going to be dishonest with me because that's how people dealt with me before. And, and that's just bullshit that you bring to a new plate that shouldn't be there you already cleaned that plate off everybody is out here to get me mentality really kills the mood kills the vibe kills um the opportunity for good relationships to grow and if you can't keep your word stop giving people your word to keep it's very simple be direct Save your time, save the other person's time, and be like, the answer is yes or no. You know what I'm saying? I shouldn't have to call you 20 times and you dodge me and I can't find you when you said you were going to do X, Y, and Z. And you know I'm dependent on you to do X, Y, and Z. Something might have came up because that's life. Things do come up. But you need to be up front with me and say, hey, 
something came up, I'm not going to be able to do it. I thought I would X, Y, and Z. So we could deal with it before the time comes where it has to be dealt with. I'm very direct in that way where if you think a problem is going to emerge, let's attack it before it becomes a real problem. Some people will dodge you, duck you, avoid you, not answer, not respond, read a text, not say shit. And when I see people like that, it's kind of like I'm not one of those women, one of those friends, one of those sisters that's going to see something, know what my answer is and not give it to you. When I know my answer, I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to save your time because I respect your time. When people waste your time, that's the most disrespectful shit ever to me, period. So I don't do it to people. You know, I will probably tell you I will try my best. I will be forward with you and be like, it's not a yes. It's a maybe, a very high likely maybe, meaning it may not happen. And if you borrowing shit, don't borrow shit. From people that you're not sure you're going to be able to pay back. And people who give their shit. Stop giving your stuff to people. That you worried about getting it back from. A lot of like. Relationships. Friendships. um, Partnerships are ruined. Because people made promises. That they knew. They weren't going to be able to keep. Or they were unsure. That they would be able to keep. And shit you know, falls by the wayside. And we have to be honest with one another and be like, you know what, from now on, I'm not even going to say I promise. I'm not even going to, you know, dodge. I'm going to be direct and get ahead of shit. So you're not carrying that weight of feeling like somebody's going to be disappointed in you. You're not carrying that weight of feeling like, damn, I let them down or I'm going to let them down. And you carrying that with you all day. You don't have to just be direct and be like, you know what? Um, I can only do this much or I know what I said. I'm working on it. This is what I have. What can we do? What can I do to help? At least be open at helping the situation if you can't do 100% of what you said you were going to do. And it's all about being a good person and keeping your word. It's not that fucking hard. It's not that hard. Life is going to life sometimes. I get that. But avoiding shit, not giving answers to shit, ducking people. Stop that shit. (laughs) Stop that shit. Peace. That's a wrap. That's another show. Thank you for staying. Thank you for listening. Thank you for checking out. She gets it. There is a merch available for you guys to shop at on teespring.com. The link will be in the info section. She gets it. Shop is on there. Also, please don't forget to add me. Follow me on IG and Twitter. She gets it pod. All right hashtag she gets it you'll find me trust me on fb facebook don't forget to add the page she gets it pod join the she gets it affiliates i would love to have you in there to discuss episodes discuss thoughts get that feedback and please please don't forget to rate the episode rate the show um i just want to know like am i going in a direction that you guys you know, are learning something from? Is it something you want to learn more about? I would love to hear y'all feedback. I love the fact that you guys support and listen to me blab and run my mouth. And if you just want to support the show, go to anchor.fm slash she gets it slash support. Thank you. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace.